Good day, everybody. We are here finishing up the scout, hopefully. <clears throat> Andy's finishing the wiring. Dale and I are hunting down the leak in the cooling system using the airlift pump, which is the greatest tool invented. What are you doing, Dale? Just looping the lines to see if the leak is in the heater core here. We'll bypass and see what happens. It should be done now. So if we check that, we'll see if that's the leak. Hopefully that's the leak and it's not the steel lines on the water pump. That's where it gets loud. One hand, yep. I commend those who do this stuff one-handed. This is, this is not working. Yeah, you can see this uh, steel line on the front of the water pump. Yeah, lower one here. You moved it and it changed tone. Yeah. The rusted end. That rusted end. We found it. Unfortunately. So it's, reconnect this, but yeah, I think it's that, that tube. This here is a steel line, same thing on the other side. We tightened all the rubber hoses and all the clamps. But... Well... I mean, it still could go get the exhaust. We could drive it on the trailer, but we can't drive it around. So we'll figure out what we can do with that. As soon, as soon as I moved it, like you said, the, the pitch changed, and I know where it was leaking, that rusted end we were looking right there. I know we put this over ring on and we put the sealant on, but... Are they pretty hard to get to? Mm, I could get to this one, I think. Can you pull it off? I can try. I'll give it my best shot here. Give me one second, you see me? We can figure out this. It's not ideal, but if we can get it off, maybe we can group it. Run some bright stuff silicone around it and then slide it back in. Okay. Just like right here. And I know it's going to make a mess with those hose nets, but maybe feel the way around the front of it where it goes in. Yeah. On the back. So, I mean, if you could try and do that right off the bat. Yeah, just pump some in around there. Where's that other hose going to go? And just try and seal up the, the ring. Okay. Okay. I'm going to find this other hose clamp. I think it fell on the floor. Well, how's this going in here? Oh, it's going. Just going to have to hook up the battery again and see if our battery shutoff switch works. Could you do that now? And then move on to uh, securing the wiring. Whew. Okay, well. Do you want to just push it back on there for the time being? Mm -hmm. Make sure you got a smoke pack in the way. Well, it's on. It's on? It's on. Well, we got the cooling system full. I didn't really explain how the airlift pump works, but screwed it on top of the rad, hooked the airline up, it puts everything into a vacuum. 
That way you can find your leaks, which we had. Tightened up some clamps, did some stuff. Then uh, vacuumed the whole system, it was all good. You put the hose in the bucket and it just sucks all the coolant through and don't have to worry about bleeding the system or air bubbles anymore. So got that done. Wheels are torqued, ready to go. And he's just putting the new steering wheel in. How is that going? Um, well, when you start with half the parts, it's not going so well, but we're making the best of it. Perfect. Once that's done, we're gonna get her fired up, put on a trailer so she can go to the exhaust shop in the morning. Then after the exhaust shop, needs a new windshield. I don't know if you can see, there's a crack over in that corner. Then we'll get it back, do some tuning, do some testing, run through his paces before we give it back. We thank Parts Source for our speedy delivery of the new brake shoes. Oh yes, the brake shoe dilemma. Where'd they go? They are gone there they're gone anyway the front shoes were too wide right yes two and a quarter they needed two two inch. two inch shoes went to put the wheel on wheel did not turn the drum was binding on the shoes so yes thank you to part source for helping us out with that Can't wait to see this thing actually drive. Okay, everything is... Here comes the trailer. Here we go, we got the wheel on. She's ready to fire up. Horn works. Uh -oh. All right, let's go. Where's your bottle? There's that little bottle of gas. I think he's on the back, rips out the hot rod there. Small enough tube to get in that one. Fuck. We need a super small piece of hose that'll fit on here to fill this float bowl. It's got this little. Oh, shit. Fuck, he's 
gave her all the fuel. Round 14. Yeah, it's starting to suck the fuel up now. Hey oh. Shot that up to my bed. Okay, last round, here we go. Here we go, out the door she goes. <laughs> <laughs> 